One time, the Lord said to me, those who believe that I love them and those who don't are both right. I had to take a moment to process what I heard. He repeated, those who believe that I love them and those who don't believe that I love them are both correct. I thought about John 3.16 and asked, but you love the entire world. How can both types of people be right? He responded, it is true that I love the world and have sent my son to redeem humanity. However, it requires faith in order to experience my love. Those who believe that I love them position themselves to be loved by me. And those who do not believe that I love them do not experience my love because of their lack of faith. I suddenly realized how important and powerful faith was in relationship to God. This is why Hebrews 11.6 says, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For those who come to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Perhaps the Father's greatest pleasure is when people choose to believe in him, encounter his presence, and become transformed by his love. It is difficult to experience the love of another if you don't even believe in their existence. Faith is the key to opening our hearts to receive the perfect love of the Father. It's almost as if God has hidden the greatest gift in the entire universe behind a closed door specifically for us. And all we have to do is open the door. Unfortunately, many people choose not to open the door because they don't believe in God or they don't believe there is anything good behind the door, or they don't believe there even is a door. The church has been given the privilege to pray for these people, serve them, and invite them into the doorway of faith. We don't fault them for not believing, because the Bible says Satan has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For those who do believe, there seems to be a vast difference in people's experience with love. Some Christians are so passionate and even intoxicated by God's love, whereas there are others whose knowledge of God's love is only cerebral or theological. What's the difference? Again, it comes down to faith. Jesus would often say, according to your faith, may it be so. He also taught that those who have been forgiven much love much, whereas those who have been forgiven little love little. The truth is, we have all been forgiven much, but not everyone believes that. Not all believe that we are completely forgiven, that we are perfectly loved, and that we are united with him. 1 John 4 declares, we have come into an intimate experience with God's love, and we trust in the love he has for us. God is love. Those who are living in love are living in God, and God lives through them. By living in God, love has been brought to its full expression in us. What a beautiful statement of our relationship with him. May you receive his perfect faith and believe all so you can experience the fullness of God's love in every part of your being. Bless you to believe and be one with love.